It's your boy DJ Academics, and we got a story coming out of Karen Dillette High School, a Catholic all-girls school in California, where, in honor of Black History Month, the principal came up with a bright idea of having a menu that consisted of fried chicken, watermelon, and cornbread. Now, when the first time I heard about the story and I read up on it, I was like, what the fuck? This is 2014. How is this still happening? But then I also thought about it and I was like, yo, my nigga, my nigga, god damn it, we made it. Nigga, we made it. I said, yo, in high school, this is what I wanted to eat. This shit sound better than anything I had in high school. Shit, when I was in high school, I was eating pizza that tastes like cardboard. Damn, I was eating beans, corn, and some dry ass chicken nuggets. This shit would be an upgrade. But then I had to just slap myself back to reality. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 even though I would love this shit, they think we some fucking fools. First of all, you can't make me feel bad about what I like, what I enjoy, but the problematic thing with this story is that the ignorance towards black culture in general from white people, or I won't say all white people, some white people still exist. Now, we niggas gotta stop saying that all ignorance means racism. I don't think this principal is racist. I think this person is ignorant. This person is ignorant to black culture. She should have made a public poll to the students or to the black students saying, hey, what do you guys want to see on the menu that's maybe representative of your culture that you want to have? Don't assume. Have input from the students. So, as you guys can imagine, there's a lot of backlash against this. It's been blowing up. It's been blowing up on social media. Blowing up across the news in general. The school promptly removed the meal from its menu and promptly apologized for the decision. And they gave a statement saying, hey, and this was the principal says, I'd like to apologize for the announcement. And any hurt that this caused any students, parents, community members, please know that at no time... At this school, do we wish to perpetuate racial stereotypes? Once again, this is another example of classic, oh, I'm going to play like I'm dumb. I'm going to play like I don't know what I'm doing. Now, to be fair, and also in plain devil's advocate, the idea for this fried chicken or whatever, or to allow the lunch menu to have some type of food dedicated to Black History Month came from a group of students at the school who were trying to brainstorm ways how to honor black culture. Also, the principal approached the black student union at the school who said that they had no problem with the menu. So they said they're cool with it. The students within the black student unit at that school are cool with the menu except the watermelon has to go. Like They said they're cool with the fried chicken and cornbread. Shit, as I said before, fried chicken and cornbread, you guys might turn your nose up at it. Or maybe you'd be like, well, I don't want to be seen as a classic nigga, but fried chicken and cornbread, nigga, that's black excellence. That's a goddamn good meal. They said, throw that watermelon in the bushes, but that fried chicken and cornbread, oh, my sweet Jesus, that's going to stay. We rocking with that for the whole goddamn month. Nigga, we finna be feasting in this bitch. So the watermelon's gonna be out there. However, we're not sure if they're gonna still do this whole plan of continuing the lunch program to celebrate Black History Month. It is Black History Month, y'all. You have to expect this type of fuckery. And it still amazes me that in 2014, or even after the 2000s, that pretty much a lot of white people are just ignorant to black culture. They're ignorant to what blacks might find offensive. And even once blacks tell them it's offensive, they still really don't get it. Every year around Halloween, we have a bunch of people dressing up in blackface. White people still don't get it. They don't get why it's offensive. And even with this case, you know, a lot of white people are going to say, well, niggas do love them some fried chicken, watermelon, and some cornbread. Why is this offensive? So, it's like we'll never really get out of this cycle. I want you guys to weigh in. What do you guys think about this topic? What do you guys think about the school initially putting this as a menu? What do you think about the school trying to backtrack, acting like they didn't really know it would be offensive? And also, what do you think about the students or the students from the Black Student Union say, Yo, y'all better keep this shit on here because that's what we want to eat. Just take that watermelon off because y'all think we really on that coon shit and we're not. 
So once again, it's your boy DJ Academics. Hit that like button if you are listening right now. Also, get in that comment box. I like to hear you guys' input on this story. Because, you know what I mean, it is Black History Month, as I said. And we got to be prepared for this level of fuckery.